This is the $50 versus $500 budget fishing challenge. He's right there. We got something. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a good bass. Yep. <laughs> He's been a naughty boy. <laughs> you gotta go whoop pop and crank that thing. We have Noah versus Fletcher versus Connor. The way this challenge is gonna work is that me and the boys are going into Dick's Sporting Goods. We can spend our budget on a rod, a reel, baits, and even a watercraft if it fits our budget. But there's a twist. This is a multi-species challenge, so we need to choose our baits wisely to maximize the number of species we can catch. Once we're done shopping, we're gonna head to the water and start fishing. We can catch bass, catfish, bluegill, carp. We can even go after saltwater species like sharks, redfish, trout, sheep's head, you name it. The winner of the challenge will be determined by whoever can catch the most species in five hours. Now that you know the rules, let's decide who gets which budget. Drum roll, please. Oh, boys. what's he gonna Our get? Boys. 100 bucks, baby. Ah, uh, not bad. Middle not of the road. Bad. Hey, you got two options, either $50 or 500. Now, Fletch Ooh. or Connor, which one of you guys wanna go first? There's two options. Uh. Connor, I'm gonna give you the honor. Give you the honors. Go ahead and choose our fades for us. <laughs> All right. Um, you, get a, you get a drum roll for me, though. Yeah, yeah. You, you get a drum roll. Drum roll, please. Oh, Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get the fifty. <laughs> yeah, let's go! Give me that, baby. Fletcher's always getting a low budget in my videos, guys, and uh, he's a rich boy today. Hey, congrats, brother. He's congrats. A rich boy. He's a rich boy. <laughs> And I got the middle of the road. I cannot complain a hundred bucks, but Connor, even though you got the low budget, it's still only 50. I mean, it's 50 bucks. I might be you still got, there, you got you, some. We can work with it. We'll you, figure you it out. You got some working room. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. So boys, the way you win today's challenge is whoever catches the most species. This is totally different from what we usually do. You can catch bass, bluegill, catfish, sharks, redfish, mermaids, <laughs> stingrays. They're all on the Dolphins. list, baby. Hey, we got a truck. But you can catch anything, man. So when we're inside the store, you really have to think about that. It's like, okay, we really have to strategize for the baits that we need. Well, it's a lot to take we're in, in the right store because we got salt water, we got fresh water tackle sections in this store and i'm thinking i got something up my sleeve we got 500 bucks and i'm gonna go a little bit out of my comfort zone today and we're gonna get a little crazy all right boys well let's go ahead and get inside see what we pick out i don't need to rely on my old man's money because i got ktp's money i'm a rich boy i I've got 500 dollars <laughs> I'm a rich boy, gonna put everything in the cart cause I'm spending Noah's money today. Gonna throw it all in the cart today. Throw it all in the cart today. All right, so back to business boys. All right, rich boys don't get to go first though. Okay. Right. We, gotta, we gotta let the boy Connor, you we know, he got the We let the poor boy go first cause I'll make it happen right here. All right, so we're fishing for salt water and fresh water. So first, let's go look at some rods. If we can find like a fishing rod between 20 and 30 bucks, we'll have tons of room to play with. I'm not worried. We got, we still have options. We might be limited, but there's definitely options. We're like right here, 30 bucks. Pretty good hey, rod. That's actually pretty good. It's a little bit flimsy. These must, are these new in here? 30 bucks, bro. Ooh. You might be giving me some ideas, oh, Connor. Wow. Yeah, good. look at this though. That's a bargain. It's oh gotta go out. I mean, I mean, dude, we're going it's for multi, flash. but you're going for multi today. How much is that one? What are you looking at there? Dude, this is this is where the, the magic happens. A little tip action. Oh yeah, it's you, got more, bit you got more back. Yeah. That's all reliable for 20 bucks. All right, this is gonna work absolutely perfectly for the combination of baits that we're gonna throw. So let's go ahead and look at like our soft plastics and hard baits, and then we'll jump in a terminal. So Connor, the question is, bro, are you going like more freshwater based? Are you doing both? So I'm gonna What's do, I'm gonna do a mix, but for the most part, I'm gonna go for like bass baits and then maybe like some panfish jigs, but let's take a look over here and see what we can find. All right, so for bass, we're gonna get us some yum dingers. These things never go wrong. I'm not gonna do that color. That looks a little unnatural. Let's go with this. It's got like a little red flake in there. That's perfect. It's 350. Okay. I see something. I see something. We got bass covered. We got the rod covered. Catfish. I've honestly never used this stuff, but since we're on a budget, that's eight, that's six. We're just going with the cheapest one. So let's grab that. And that's going to be our second bait. 
We got bass covered, we got catfish covered. We need to cover our panfish. And if there's any bait that never fails with panfish, it's this entire section right here. So we are gonna get us one of these rooster tails to use. I think at least two species can be caught on this and maybe even three. But for panfish, I definitely think that this will work. So we're gonna get one of these and we're gonna get it in white. And this is my trick up my sleeve right here. So about 10 years ago, I went through these jigs and all you do is throw it out, reel it in and pop it. And this, these things hammer fish. So we are absolutely getting one of these and I'm gonna go with the orange head and the silver body. Oh, looks like some sauce, bro. It's looking nice. <laughs> So to break it down, we've got pretty much every species covered. We just have to get some terminal tackles. So let's grab that stuff real quick. For our bass hooks, we're gonna go with the old trusty five odd extra wide gap hook. And we're gonna rock the Cinco's on that. There we go, that'll be money for us. We're gonna throw that in the bucket. And that's four bucks. Oh, oh. So for our catfish terminal, we are just gonna go the simple route here. So we're gonna get a egg sinker that's already on a rig with a hook. And that's 650, so it'll save us a little money. We don't have to buy the weights or hooks separate because we're already having to buy bass hooks. Last but not least, we need some worm weights. So we're gonna go with some bullet weights. These are the cheapest that they got. So we're gonna grab those, just a little bit of one eighth. Just gonna get it done, baby. Yeah, Fletcher's been playing around with kayaks. I had to go entertain him, you know? What is he doing down there now? Dude, he's been test driving like so many kayaks. <laughs> and, and that big boy right there is like 180 bucks, bro. That one? Yeah. What a guy, look at him, just patting it. <laughs> <laughs> been a naughty kayak. <laughs> He's been a naughty boy. <laughs> who said you could just start picking out your stuff before before me and Connor, hey, man? Who, who said just, that? You know, just eyeing some things. <laughs> How much is this paddle? A hundred bucks? The paddle? The paddle's a hundred bucks, bro. No, no, no. You're, you're crazy, you're balling. Okay, unfortunately we cannot go with a carbon fiber <laughs> nanotechnology. So we're gonna have to go with the uh, the old trusty basic plastic. All right, dude, well, I got a hundred bucks, boys. We gotta go ahead and start picking it out. And I have a whole different strategy. Like you guys are probably thinking, man, Noah's gonna get him a nice rod. He's gonna do all this. I'm actually gonna go with a cheap rod. Cheap rod. And pick out as many baits that are versatile as I can. Because if you think about this, like every time we do the budget challenges, like let's say it's 30 <laughs> versus 300, there's not really that much of like a advantage to it this one being multi-species there actually is more of an advantage man yeah I mean, because you, gotta, you really yeah. have to pick a bunch of different baits so you do need you do need the prioritized tackle more so than the that, gear I would that's say. what i'm saying and like right here connor picked up this puppy earlier and you're telling me this rod's only 30 bucks bro that feels good like the only thing that I don't like is how much tip it has. Like it does have a ridiculous amount, oh, yeah. but we're using this for whatever we catch, like bass, catfish, bluegill, you know, redfish, flounder, pretty much anything. So I think this might be the best bet. I mean, it is plastic. It doesn't feel super durable, but it's gonna get the job done. What do you think, yeah. man? As long as it stands the test of time for one day, I think you're fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, that thing's solid. So there's three different sizes and they're actually all the same price. This one might be a little too hefty. I don't know. That is a meaty boy. I mean, it just depends on what species you're going for, big dog. Dude, I kind of want to keep it fun, dude. We're going to go in the middle. <laughs> We're going right here. Yeah, middle, middle of the road. road. Six, six medium. That's not bad, dude. I'm telling you that right there for 30 bucks, bro. And then we have 70 bucks to spend on whatever. What do you want? Whatever I want. Knowing that we have to catch as many species as possible, I'm not going to be buying like five or six bass lures. We're probably just going to go with one bass lure and then everything else is just going to be pretty versatile so i'm actually going to go with a ned rig the fishing's been really slow right now and i just feel like a ned rig is a good bait just to get bites on and i want to be able to catch the bass as fast as possible that's part of my game plan so we're gonna go with the canada crawl ned rigs right here and with that being said that's five dollars we need to get some jig heads. oh yeah we're gonna go with those right there, boys. That's another 550. That's not too bad. We're gonna be able to pair that right up. And another reasoning that I'm, <laughs> what are you doing, dude? He's just being weird today, isn't he? Another reason I'm picking out the Ned Rig is because the tip on that rod, like it's got so much tip and this is easy to hook up with. So there we go. That is bait number one for the bass. We got the Ned Rig. Boys, look at this. We got these Mr. Crappy Strike King jig heads. Ooh. And I know these are crappy heads, but I'm telling you like a bluegill, I could definitely catch a bluegill on that. 
even throwing this in the salt water like if i went on a dock by the marsh i feel like we could catch something on these jig heads so we're gonna go with these and we need to find something to pair it up with the crappy crabby oh yeah what about the meester tweester <laughs> what do you think about the meester tweester dude that's a that's a that's a banging crappy bait look at that i mean i can catch a bluegill on, i'm telling you i'm gonna catch a red i'm gonna catch a red fish you can, you can do you catch a ton of species on that i can catch just about anything so that's gonna be bait number two so we got five dollars and both jig heads five bucks we got another five bucks of this another five bucks of that those are probably going to be our art actually you know what we're going to get another artificial bait my favorite thing to throw if i'm fishing for like redfish or trout or anything in the low country is definitely just like a regular swim bait like these are doa swim baits on a jig head and i just feel like this has to be a go-to man we just got to find the right color this is usually the color i get just like this with a chartreuse tail, but these are flukes, man. We don't we don't want flukes. With that being said, I think we're gonna go with this color. It's like a little bit of I don't know, like a brownish color. It's called uh the Cal Series Shad. It's got chartreuse on the tail. I'm telling you, the saltwater baits, man. Anything with the chartreuse tail is always money, dude. I think I'm I'm gonna hit you with the unexpected, oh, bro. No, I'm gonna mean? hit you with the unexpected. I've never I've actually done it once in my life. I'm not no saltwater fisherman boys by any means, but we got to go with a popping cork. My question is, dude, I know nothing about this. <laughs> like, this is my question. Like, what's the difference between the popping corks right here? I think this one is like a splashing popping cork, and this one is definitely More splash. Noise. Okay. Dude, look at that striking one right there, bro. It's the same price. Uh, you get it for that? It looks saucy. They even have a plopping cork. A plopper cork. <laughs> what the heck? That's pretty cool. I, I'm pretty sure I saw that on Instagram. We we can't afford that though. 13 bucks for a plopping cork, dude. I can't do. I can't. I just can't. It's a little steep for me right now. I might now. have to check it out. I might have to check it but out. But there we go. Seven bucks on the popping cork. That's gonna be money. So now, what do I have? Okay, we got swim baits. We got Ned rigs. We got crappy baits. It's getting a little crazy, Fletch. How, how much currents out there by the marsh man do you know a there's a lot of current the, the tide be ripping in the low country the let me tell you the we tide. like nine ten foot tides oh my god it's, it's gonna be pulling all right we're going with the pyramid weight i actually think i have enough to get both so i'm gonna go with these pyramid weights this is if i'm gonna go fish out on like a dock and then i also want to go with some like regular egg sinkers right there those can be used for catfish and then i was gonna get a swivel, a barrel swivel, right there, baby. I don't know anything about, you know, the saltwater hooks I need, but we're gonna go with these. It's kind of like a long shank right there. And then we're also gonna go with these right here. This can be used for the catfish as well. I think that's money, man. Just like a regular circle hook, not an octopus hook, but a circle. And I think I'm coming close to my budget, boys. Oh, we need, we need, Dude. we need to clarify this. Our crustaceans on the board. Our crustaceans on the board. Okay, Crabs, so shrimp. We did lobsters. a multi-species for you, and I caught a blue crab, and we counted we count, it. Okay. So we, we have to count it. I feel like any like if you catch a lobster or a crab or anything, I doubt you're gonna catch a lobster. But if you catch a crab, then yeah, that definitely counts. And dude, I have to go since we have the popping cork. We're gonna get something out of the frozen section. So we have calamari, which is delicious. Not this type of calamari, but calamari is usually pretty good. We got some shad. We got some shrimp. We got some squid, not scallops. We got squid. Then we got mullet. But I think like a safe bet, anything if you're fishing in the salt water, it's got to be shrimp, dude. And we got some some good fresh froze oh, on. Fro Look at that. Hold on. They might be jipping me on this one, bro. You see that? See that headpiece without a, a tail? We got to be picky up in here, man. Oh, yeah. So, guys, we're running low on our budget. We got not much more money left we got like 10 bucks did i get jig heads i didn't get jig heads for the swim bait so we're definitely going to need that and that is going to cost me eight freaking dollars dude so that's going to leave me with just a couple bucks i don't know we might have to end it here let's see if there's anything we can grab for just a couple dollars Ooh. Ooh, baby. I saw it when you saw it. I was like, his eyes going right Dude. there. Dude, I mean, these are five bucks. I can't get that, but this is like $3. That's going to put me like right at budget, dude. It might only honestly put me a little over, but by the sense, we're going to go with this one, dude. Yeah, that's, I, that's I, just, I don't think you're wrong that's there. a thing right there, son. A little sabiki rig, dude. What if I drop this down today and catch like five <laughs> species on one drop? You guys are going to lose it, man. But there we go, boys. That is my $100 budget. 
We got a $30 rod, which is down there, but I wanted to prioritize the versatility of the baits I get. And I, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling, you see all this, man? Ooh, Look I mean, that. Got, we got all these artificials. Nice spread, Dude. But uh, guys, it is time to roll. We're, we're getting right in the business. We got $500. I tested out a little bit of the product selection here, and there's only a few things that are quite in my budget where I could get gear and tackle as well. And I think we're uh, I think we're gonna go with this one. 180 for this? I mean, shoot. That's a bargain. I mean, shoot. That is a straight bargain. I'm gonna be cruising seven seas in this bad boy, and we're gonna we're gonna catch ourselves some giants today. Got a forty dollar paddle, and we still got plenty of money to go. So I'm thinking we're gonna get our gear first, and then we're gonna get our rod last, and we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna go we're gonna go the opposite end of the spectrum. Gonna take this with us. This is gonna be our shopping cart. Something wrong? First off, we're gonna need some bait. And the best way to get bait is cast net, in my opinion. We can go with the Sabiki rig route, but I'm feeling like just a good old classic cast net, 50 bucks, can't go wrong there. Locking it in, throw it in the cart. Excuse me. Hold on one second. And just in case we struggle with the cast net, it is probably good to have some bait on hand. So we're gonna grab these shrimp for $5. Always good, can't go wrong with the shrimp. And I'm thinking we're just sticking purely saltwater fishing today. This is out of my comfort zone. I want to do more of it, uh, both on Noah's channel and my own. So we're gonna we're gonna get experimental here today. I do want a little bait bucket if I catch some things, but I'd probably be good to have seven dollars. And and if we do catch bait, I'm gonna need to cut it up more likely than not. We're gonna want some cut bait, so I'm gonna need some stuff for that. And I'm thinking nine dollars for this little guy right here. And then we have this as well, which is a little fillet board. You know, we got 500 bucks, might as well get some luxuries here. I didn't even think about this. This might be good to have. So we got a rope and we got an anchor. <laughs> the Noah was all concerned about that current. If we're gonna be on boat, we might as well put that into the factor if we need to, you know, just kind of post up somewhere and catch some fish like at the, the mouth of a creek or something like that. So. Let's get that. What, what was that cost? So this was 17. These are 12 bucks. Ooh, well, I'm at it. $12 for grippers. Okay. That's probably a good investment. Okay. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta get into this aisle, boys. One second. Back to business, back to business. We got some more money to spend boys. We got some more money to spend. You know what? I might as well get something artificial. I'm thinking these little swim baits could be good. I kind of like that they come in a nice organized pack here, come with a hook. Let's get these. Uh, maybe there's some backup hooks for these as well. Oh yeah, and then here's the same brand right here. We'll just do that. Five bucks, five bucks. That sounds right. We're just gonna throw it in there. Boom. What else do we need? What else do we need? We're gonna need other hooks. Um, we're gonna just get a, a variety here. Um, I kind of like these short shank hooks. Uh, these are four aughts, that's not bad. Maybe we'll get this. Then we could also get longer shank hook, kind of like this guy. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go with a three, let's go with a three aught. Uh, no, let's go with a two aught, just kidding. And finally, but not least, we might want a circle hook of some kind. If we're gonna be saltwater fishing, I want one of these like, pre-made rigs. I think they're flounder rigs, but technically I could catch just about anything with them. And I've actually had a lot of luck with some sharks in a particular area that I have in mind um, with a similar rig to this. And this has a nice thick leader line on it. So that's one less thing I got to worry about. So I'm just going to get a few of these. Let's get uh, this six bucks. Let's grab uh, two of these. What else do we need? Well, that, that is the question. I mean, honestly, I'm not even sure where we're at with things. I mean, we're probably at like, I don't know, like 350-ish bucks, maybe maybe 400, maybe. Um, I mean, you need a rod. We're not worried about that yet, okay? That's an, that's an overrated item. Uh, but I do want to get a popping cork. I think that's an important thing to have. Uh, we're gonna grab the... Maybe this one, I kind of like this guy right here, and and one of these. Or actually, I like this one better. 
Let's do these two. So this one's like the popping style. This one's just the floating style. All right, well, I think that's probably just about good for our rigging stuff. Uh, Cause we got our hooks, we have our bait, we have a cast net, we got some artificial paddle tails, maybe like one more thing. Maybe there's something good for like sea trout. This one's called trout magic. Let's go with that. I like the underspin. All right. Uh, how much was that? Uh, Five dollars. So we're gonna add all this to the cart here. I'm just hoping, I'm hoping we come in under 500 bucks. Kind of the deal is if you go over, if you go over, someone gets to pick something that you don't get to use. So, I mean, that could be literally my kayak, uh, then that would be detrimental. Um, I hope no one would pick my fishing rod because that would kind of be heartbreaking. These are 130 bucks, but oh, <laughs> they're 50% off. Oh my gosh. Give me that, baby. Give me that. I, this is what I want. <sighs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Locking it in. I'm feeling good about that. I don't know what just happened, but we're locking it in. Okay, I think that's it, guys. We got it all. We got it all. We got the baits. We got the tackle. We got the kayak. We got the gear. That's only 500 bucks. I think so. <laughs> oh my God. I think so. Dude, you got everything you would possibly ever need. I mean, I'm excited for this, man. Like, I'm always trying to beat you, Fletch, but I actually want to see you catch a lot of fish out there. <laughs> hey, this is crazy. You got some jig heads, jig you got heads, a swim bait pack. Oh, Dude, that's all, wild. We got, all the we got all the goodies. Dude, you got an anchor, you got a rope, you got a cast net. All right, man. Well, that's it. We'll Let's go check it. out and break the bank, baby. Then we're going to get out there and catch some fish. Let's get this on. No, I found a, a nice offer for you. 24 month special financing. <laughs> I'm probably going to need that, man. <laughs> we spent a lot of your that. money today. Do you need you need this? Yeah, I'm definitely going to need that, man. Okay. We got the that wasn't too bad. We got, we got the haul. It really wasn't that bad. When I saw you ringing all that up, I swore you had like 700 bucks. <laughs> I wasn't going to say, hey, I'm, I'm here for the entertainment, man. If it was going to be over, I'm like, you know what, whatever. I was just throwing stuff in there. I honestly wasn't sure if I was over or not, but we're at 490. What you think about your new whip? Dang, pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> all right, boys, it's time to get back to the play, start the fishing, and see who the 50 versus 500 champion is, baby. Let's get it. All right, boys, we're at the stomping grounds. We're gonna have five hours on the clock. Whoever catches the most species in five hours is the multi-species 50 versus 500 Woo! champion, baby. Let's Come on, go, give me baby. a round of applause, baby. baby. Come on. Before I set the timer, I got something special for you, Fletch. What you got for I want to see you catch fish today, okay? <laughs> I really want to see it. You're about to go out into the ocean. Look at this, boys. Look at this. You're about to go out there in the marshy, marshy out You're there, on son. A mission. Okay. And with that being said, Fletch, good I got I got to give you a little bit of good luck, bro. I don't know what this kid's got. What do you have? I got something special, man. <laughs> I, I can't with this kid. I got special. This is this is gonna give you all the luck you need, man. Uh, okay. If you say so. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, all the luck you whoa. need, boy. Whoa! Oh, oh, you're not wrong. Maybe one on there too. <laughs> all right, there, Bubba. Kicking their vast TV sticker. Right there, Bubba. Can you sign it for me? Yeah, I have a sharpie too. Now you can look at my face all day, man. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, baby. If I need a little extra motivation to to do some work today, I'm just gonna look at that sticker. If you're down, you're not getting bites, you're not catching fish. Just look at the sticker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll bring you some happiness today i promise <laughs> all right boys well five hours on the clock i'm uh a little worried about fletcher guys he's either going to kick our butt or he's gonna do really bad there's no in between i got the ktb sticker <laughs> we're, about, we're about to smack him boys <laughs> i just gave him all the good luck <laughs> if five hours on the clock starts right now baby hey Let's peace out boys good hey luck, man good luck gentlemen may the best man win the only problem with the kicking their bass tv stickers you know we're not kicking their bass today we're kicking their redfish so this is unfortunate um i i mean i don't know i don't know how i feel about it five hours on the clock baby Ooh, let's go i'm rocking the truck today connor's in the golf cart fletch is on the river and it's time to get out to our first spot let's start driving y'all could have at least helped me bring the kayak down well guys Looks like they decided to leave me with no help to get this down to the water. I guess that means uh, we're dragging it or 
carrying it like this. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to get down there. Oh god, it's kind of heavy with everything in it. Um, let's see. You know what? Screw it. I ain't gonna break my back. This ain't my kayak. Well, I guess it is technically. We're just gonna drag it on the shelves. It was only 170 bucks. All right, boys and girls, we're at our first spot, and it's actually just a pond right here. I just feel like it would be totally wrong if I did not go for a bass off the rip in this multi-species challenge. So we're starting off here. We're gonna be targeting a bass. And then after that, I have another spot that has some really big bluegill. So I might go over there to knock out a bluegill. And then after that, we're gonna go out to some of these docks on the marsh and see if we can catch some redfish, trout, sharks, pretty much whatever bites. So let's go ahead and dig in our bag, get our bass lures out and start fishing. I love how I said bass lures, but I really only have the Ned rig right here and then the Ned hook. So we're going to go ahead and rig it up on this rod. We actually spooled it up right before coming out here. And uh, we're going to see if we can get our first species on the list. All right, we're good, guys. We are good. We got everything down here. Let's go ahead, get this to the water. But before we do any, where's my fishing rod? Did they take my fishing rod? Hey, sure enough, they took my dang fishing rod. We made it out to our first location of the day here. We got a little saltwater spot. We're gonna go tie up over here and then we're gonna get to work. I gotta show you guys what I'm working with. So this is called the, the Zig Jig Pro. What does that mean? No idea, but it catches fish. <laughs> so basically you throw it out and you just bounce it up and down and the fish hammer it. So we're gonna tie this on and as you can see, we're at this beautiful water. We're gonna cast around and hopefully catch some, some speckled trout. I am so pumped today, boys. I mean, it's fun always fishing for the bass. And of course we're fishing for a bass right now, but just targeting multi-species and to see how many different types of fish we can catch, not only in fresh water, but in salt water as well is just, is just fun, man. I'm actually really excited to see what Fletcher can do on the kayak today. He's either gonna have a really good time or a really bad time. Since I'm going against him in this challenge, I would hope he has a bad time, but at the same time, I honestly want to see him catch some big fish out there. We just tied that Ned head on right there, and then we're gonna get one of these little Ned rigs. This is in Canada Crawl. I've never thrown this color, but it looks pretty spicy. It's been super hot, guys. It's been like 100 degrees, and these fish have not been biting that well. So I feel like that Ned rig right there should 100% get a bass. Let's start casting. We're good. We got the goods. We have our rod. Let's get back down there and get rigged up. Well, I was going to cut that. It was already broken. Makes my life a little easier. Cast net. Put that to the side. And just so y'all know, I do not plan on taking this with me on the kayak. I figure we'll throw it around the dock and try to catch some bait that way. And I think we'll probably just start with our basic rig here. And that's going to be a popping cork with a shrimp we're gonna try to catch a live shrimp though that's that's the goal first weapon is all rigged up got this on my uh 20 spinning rod feeling pretty confident let's uh let's head down to the water let's get started the last time i fished with one of these uh, i all i remember doing is literally throwing the bait out and then you pretty much just jig it back to you so we'll get a nice little beam out there and then i think what you're supposed to do is literally just this just jig it up and down Let's catch us some big old girthy girls. Make sure our drag set. For 30 bucks, this combo is not that bad. I am not even gonna lie. It's all plastic, but it feels good, man. This pond right here actually has some striper too. They have some big old striped bass in here, super fat. So we could get on one of them puppies in here. I feel like we'd probably need to throw like a little swim bait or something different than what we're throwing now though. I am really determined to get better at saltwater fishing. I want to do more of it on the channel and both in my free time. Uh, I have good access to saltwater, so I might as well take advantage of it. There we go. We got our rig set up. That is about all we need right there. Now we just need a piece of bait. So I feel good with our starting rig. We can always change out there on the water if we need to, but this is what we're going to kind of shoot for to start with. And I think we can get the job done with this guy. I feel that cast right there. I 
feel it. Those big bass are either out here in the middle right now with how hot it is, or they're up under those trees. There's no in between. I'm telling you, they are not roaming. He's right there. He's right there, dude. No way. Dude, it feels like a good fish, man. Oh my God, it doesn't even feel like a bass. Dude, this is a big fish, dude. What is going on? Oh, he's coming up. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Dude, no way, I got a big fish on, dude. Oh my gosh, what a fight. Don't get around that rope. Do not, do not get around that rope. Oh, it's a good bass. It's a good bass, baby. Oh my gosh, stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh my goodness, dude, she's barely hooked. And it's like a three and a half pounder. Oh my gosh, come here, baby. Come here, son. Oh, no way. No way, dude, look at that thing. Oh, she's hooked decent. Let's go, baby, come on. Come on, son. Good, like, close to three pound bass to start off the video, baby. Species number one knocked off the list. Look at that fish right there, man. Oh my goodness. I did not expect to catch a bass that good. I'm not gonna lie. And we've only been fishing for probably 15 minutes. And uh, I knew this would probably be the easiest for us to knock off, but we got one species so far, baby. Bass is knocked off the list and it is a good one. And on that light rod right there, dude, that fish was fighting so hard, holy cow. Oh, I'm pumped. Thank you, baby. What a fish, man. Size doesn't even matter in today's video, but that was a good one. I feel very confident now, boys. We already got a good fish. And that Ned rig did the job. Instead of putting on a different bait and trying to catch a bluegill or a striper in this place, or a catfish, I'm just gonna go ahead and pack up and go to a different location for our next species. Let's go. I could honestly put like 10 species on the board in one cast. <laughs> the boy said this was fair game. I have a $500 budget. So whether we catch fish or not with the rod, you know, I'm just not sure if that's gonna happen, but we should be at least able to get on the board with a cast net. The inaugural cast. Let's see what she brings home. Hopefully a boatload of shrimp. That would be fantastic. Let it get down. Any shimmering and shaking in the, in the nets? Oh! Let's go! We got a species on the board! Okay? <laughs> this isn't what we we're after as far as bait goes, but um, for those that don't know, these are mullet and they are um, herbivores. They eat like plants and stuff. And these are great bait and we're gonna try to catch some smaller ones of these. I guess we could technically cut one of these up and use it, but we're gonna let these big boys go and try to catch some finger sized mullet. But these are perfect. Like if I was going for tarpon, ooh, golly, these things would get smoked. Schmiggity smoked. Take a look at that. You're gonna lose to a mullet, Noah, just so you know. All right, boys, a little change in plans. I'm at pond number two. I was gonna go after a bluegill, but I wanna say this pond that we're out at right now is brackish and it has some saltwater fish and I see something swimming out there. Yeah, dude, I don't know what. I see two fish swimming out there in the middle. I have no idea what they are, but we're gonna try uh, something totally different and just see if we can catch some of these fish. So we have two different options here, in my opinion, to maximize our results. So we have these Mr. Crappy jig heads that we can put one of these Mr. Twisters on, man. Or we can put one of these DOA swim baits on the jig head. And it just all really depends how big these fish are in here. What I'm gonna do, cut this net off and let's go, let, let's downsize first. Let's use one of these little crappy jig heads with one of the small Mr. Twisters on the back of it. And I feel like we're gonna get a lot of bites and have a good idea of what's actually in this pond. All right, come on, Mr. Twister, get twisty with it, baby. And you guys are probably wondering, no, why are you throwing a crappy jig in a brackish pond? I'm telling you, there's all types of different fish you can catch on this right now. Don't let that thing fool you. 
right, let's start casting then. We can't get the maximum. We can't get any crazy casting distance on this jig head. But we should have enough to trick a little fish to bite. All right, guys, we have actually made it out to our second spot here. And let me tell you, there is some good news. It would literally be impossible for us to do worse than we did at our first location. So the morale is still going, the hopes are high. Let's tie in some catfish rigs and let's get after it. For this pond, I think we're gonna throw this. We are gonna target catfish here. And my reason being is I just wanna get something on the board. Now, after we catch a catfish, we can go to bass, we can go back to saltwater, we can go all kinds of routes, but I think our best bet is gonna be throwing this on right now. One thing I did forget in the golf cart is these bad boys right here. Now it says these are crawfish and chicken blood. I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty stinky. I think the catfish are gonna like it. Boom, just like that. Get this thing rigged up. We already got a hook on there as well. And now we just need to add some stinky stuff to it. So I'm gonna get it all over my fingers and on the hook so that I can smell it the rest of the day. Just uh, like some good cologne. That's pretty much what it looks like right there. And we're just gonna bomb that on the water, but I'm gonna clean this dookie off my fingers real quick. Guys, I'm looking out here. I'm telling you, those are like big, I have no idea what they are. They almost look like big mullet. They're pretty big fish, man. If those are mullet, they are massive. Holy shiznits. <laughs> what in the world? That deer just barked at me, bro. Give me a shot. I thought I had a wild hog on me or something. That kind of species, boy, we might need to go get our hunt rifle. Bro, that honestly spooked me, man. That was crazy. I didn't know if it was a gator or what. Boys, we should have bought a little net, man. I didn't even think about that. You see those little minnows swimming right there? Like, that counts as a species. We have like a little tiny net. Man, I didn't even think about that. That would have been wild. Just gonna send this thing out there, kind of towards the middle. Then the best thing about this rig is you can pretty much just set it down. So we'll use this feeder here. We're gonna set this thing down, lay back in this Adirondack chair and then wait for a bite. Wasn't the best cast in the world, but enough to get the job done. Oh, we got shrimp! We got shrimp! Yes! Yes! I saw him in there. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Fletcher. How's it going? Fletcher. What's going on, boys? <laughs> I'm not sure who that was, but we got some fans out on the boat. <laughs> What's going on, boys, if y'all are watching the vid? Where did my shrimp go? What the heck? Dude, we literally had one in the freaking net and he must have slithered on out of there. Um, oh, there we go, we got a scrimp. Two scrimps, two scrimps on the board. There's one, two, three, three shrimps. Okay, that is perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Little shrimpy poos. Look how long their antennas are. I don't know if everyone knows that shrimp have antennas or like whiskers that are ultra ultra long see those things i think it's like three times the length of his body so we got two species so we got shrimp and we got mullet maybe uh connor should have just bought a cast net with his 50 bucks that's exactly what this cost i'm pretty sure it was 50 on the dot maybe he just should have spent his entire time cast netting <gasps> dude someone just tried to eat me right there someone just tried to eat me i didn't see it Oh, it's a gator, bro. Oh my God. I actually almost just caught a gator blind, bro. Look at his little butt, dude. I mean, that definitely counts, but I can't be fishing for gators, man. If he would have just ate it right there without me actually seeing it, that would have been crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I actually did not see him. We need to be careful, man. That, uh, <laughs> that's pretty wild. This stuff is falling right off the hook. Got a double dookie here. We're gonna rig up both of these things. Oh yeah, pinch this one nice and good around the hook. This piece is about twice as big. I get the hook popped out like slightly more. Maybe this will help entice him to actually grab onto that hook instead of just ripping that bait off of there. To be honest, it almost looks like brem that are nibbling at it because nothing has really picked it up and moved it. It's always just dink, dink, dink. Like you can see him hitting it right now. 
Oh gosh, dude, no way. No way. Something just hammered me. I was just, that was my last cast. I was about to say we're about to leave. And something just freaking swamped me right there, bro. Oh my gosh, what was that, dude? Somehow he didn't get the hook. He just didn't have it all the way. Dude. It was so quick, man. Like I had no time to react and he didn't have it all the way. As much as I want to keep fishing this pond, we just need to keep on moving. Let's head out to uh, pond number three. Some kind of little minnow? I don't know what it is. But it's like a glass minnow or something. I think that's what these are called. Add it to the board. <laughs> three species. <laughs> I think I got an idea here. So it seems like the fish that are hitting it, they don't seem like catfish because they're they're just dunk, 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 and then I pick it up, it's gone. Or the second it would hit the water, it would just like take it right off the hook. So if it is brim, that'd be perfect because I've got the perfect bait for it. And that would be this rooster tail right here. Now, if I can't catch a fish on this little rooster tail here, we got some serious problems. All right, boys, we're at our next spot. I want you to look at this, dude. There's like some sort of, I don't even know what that is, man. It looks like a little trap and it's actually got a turtle inside of it. I technically could pull that over and grab that turtle and have another species, but I don't know if I want to do all that, man. But that's pretty crazy. If you guys know what that is, let me know. I have no idea what it is. If I go to this side and drag it right over their heads, a little bit of this action. They should hit this. They should, yep. Okay. Not anything impressive, but that is a fish. Not a big fish, but it's a fish. All right, guys, well, there we go. Our first species right there. I know it's not a monster, but I just figured throwing that rooster tail right afterwards should get that fish to come eat, and thankfully he did. So there's our first fish, and we're gonna tie on the next bait and go for the next species. We're finally looking good. I'm feeling a little more confident. We are moving on to another bait, and I'm actually going to rig up a Texas rig with these yum dingers, and I'm gonna throw a little bullet weight on there. I don't know if we're gonna stick around at this pond, but I'm gonna just go ahead and tie up so that we're ready to go when we get to the next one. Oh, we got something. We got something new. We got a new species on the board. What is it? What do we have? Some kind of, some kind of little bait fish here. Um, what is this? We got a little school of something. I'm not exactly sure what these guys are, but they are maybe, they almost look like baby redfish. One second, folks. We might have an ID. We might have an ID. Oh, nope, it's a croaker. It's a croaker, boys. We got a positive ID on our fish species here. We have a little croaker. Um, I'm gonna put him back and we are gonna go for the bucket with our shrimp here. We got a bunch of mac daddies. Let's get these all in, in the bucket. Yo, there's big bluegill, some angelfish and tilapia all right here in the same spot. Come on. Dude, totally ignored it. That is a huge tilapia right there. This is the thing. Tilapia don't really chase artificials. But there was one time that I had one really angry and he freaking smoked my artificial bait. So there's always a possibility. The last time I was over here, there was actually some big redfish. Dude, there's a huge bluegill right there chasing off that tilapia. Let's see if we can put it right there where he's at. I'm telling you, last time I came here, there was a big redfish over on this side that actually nosed down on my bait. That's like an angelfish right there. What is that? I think that's an angelfish. He's swimming to the right. Oh, oh, right there. Dude, what are those? Those might be like big mullet or something. To the right there on the bottom. See, I don't know what those things would eat. They're literally right there. Look at him down there. You see that? Yeah, those are huge mullet. Man, I wish they would just eat this thing. Looks like we may have found us a little honey hole down here. We got a nice bridge. There's a bunch of docks. And I think this is going to be the perfect place for our Texas rig. And there's so many fish eating right there. What's going on? I think those are bluegill. There are probably 15 of them just sitting right there in front of that feeder. Oh, 
Oh, oh, what do I have? What do I have? Oh, I got a sheep's head. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh, that's hype. I was not expecting to catch that in the cast net. Okay. Okay. I got to show you all this fish, guys. This fish has teeth like you and I. It's got like literally human like teeth. I don't know if you can see those little, that little front row teeth this guy has. They eat like little crustaceans and crabs and things like that. So they have hard teeth to crack of their shells. But that is a sheep's head. Add it to the species board. Let's stick and go. <laughs> the cast that is coming in clutch. Honestly, this is the, the best bang for my buck in this challenge. I'm not going to lie. But glad to see this on the board. Let's get this one back in and see, see what else we can catch. All right. Unexpected catch, but a good one nevertheless. So how many species are we at? I think like five. five I think. Oh my God. We are running away with it, boys. We are absolutely running away with a challenge here. We got shrimp, croaker, mullet, sheep's head, and then we got the glass minnows. Oh yeah, so five then. Five. Yeah. <laughs> hey! All right, we're gonna try one more spot on this pond. It's down a little bit, so I gotta walk down, but I know there's one spot over here that has to have fish on it. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me, man. That thing was right in front of me. <laughs> Okay, and we're off, off to drift into victory. I'll see y'all boys at the finish line. Well, here it goes, nothing guys. I'm out here in the little, in the little yak. I'm gonna go up this way and I wanna kinda get out where I couldn't cast to from this dock uh, very effectively. And then we're just gonna kinda drift with our bait with the current and just see what happens all right y'all we just pulled up on new pond here we still got the the t-rig on we're still gonna go for bass the water is a little bit clearer in this one so that makes me feel a little bit better and i know what this pond holds in it so we could already get in hit that's what i like oh no <laughs> okay first cast though we got we got absolutely smacked so the problem is that this rod just doesn't have any backbone to it. It bends so easily. And I probably should have gone with like a smaller shank hook because the five odd is pretty big. Um, the fish are eating it. I just can't actually get that hook to like set in their mouth. This is what I've been waiting for, man. I want to get out here in the low country. This is where Fletcher started. I have no idea where he's at. He probably drifted miles down now in that kayak. But look how low this tide has got now it's unreal but there's got to be some fish down here that we can catch is that, that fletcher's cast net down here too i think i should steal this cast net man take advantage of it oh there's shrimp everywhere <laughs> we're getting bombarded by baby shrimp oh my god look at them they're going crazy <laughs> let's get it started mr twister was not getting it done man Mr. Twister was just, he's kind of disappointed, man. He did nothing but twist my line. Mr. Twister looks sexy, but he just wasn't getting the job done. Maybe we'll catch a bluegill on him in a little bit. And we still have a catfish that we can go after. We have catfish, we have carp. There's still a bunch of different fish we can catch. But that's a little jig head that we got. That's the shank on that hook's actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. No, oh, we're on. Let's fish on, fish on, we got something. We got something. Oh, I don't know what it is, but we have something on the board. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a speckled trout. Let's go. That was one of the species I was after today. Oh my gosh. I love to see it, folks. We actually caught something on, on the cast net, which is all I was really hoping for. I knew we could get the job done with just that, but I wanted to see some action. And look at that, we got ourselves a little speckled trout. These guys got some teeth, so you need to be careful with them. These actually get to a decent size. This is a smaller one, but we will take it. Read and weep, Noah and Connor. Ha <laughs> ha! Let her go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Those things are good eating too. There's one on 100%. Oh, and it came off. That's four. So I've learned that the key with the popping cork is all about how you move it. It's all about what you do. You gotta go, well, pop, 
and crank that thing. Whoop pop and crank that thing. Now it's impossible. My drag is so tightened down and I'm about to send this next fish to the moon. I don't think we have another option because this, this thing is just doesn't have enough backbone to set the hook. We got one running with it. Yeah, we do. That fish is on. That fish is on. Yes, yeah, sir. I can't believe it. We actually finally made it happen. We caught our second species. I was getting worried there because these fish just weren't biting. I threw at him about 10, 15 times. He finally ate. We had a little bit of trouble there with the backbone on that rod, but I'm honestly pretty happy with that. Thank you for the bite, little guy. Oh, we got one. We got one. Fish on. Is he on? No, he came off. <laughs> no. Shucks. All right, we still got our shrimp. It's a good sign. Oh, someone took, something took it. Something took it again. Yes, fish on, fish on. We got something. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Is it another trout? Redfish, redfish, come on. Come on, be a redfish. Oh, it's a catfish. Oh, it's a saltwater catfish. Let's go. All right. All right, wasn't expecting that. Well, there she is. <laughs> another spishers. I was not aware that these swam in these parts, if I'm being completely honest. There we go. Got them off. <laughs> okay, it's time to, to load our bait back up. Alrighty. Let's see what the doctor ordered, boys. We got two different options. We got three different options. So we can rig up just like a bottom rig with a hook and a piece of shrimp on there. I think we could smoke them. We could rig up the popping cork which I think would be really good, but all those guys down there are fishing a popping cork. I'm getting some intel, man. They haven't got any bites yet, so I don't know if I want to go with that. But we can also tie on that sabiki rig. So if you guys don't know what a sabiki rig is, usually it's used just to catch bait fish. So pretty much you got one, two, three, four, five, six baby hooks on there, and it's on one line. And you pretty much drop it down and pull the fish back up. So what I can do is put a little bit of shrimp on the sabiki rigs too and just drop it down over here. I wasn't gonna use it on this side just because I thought it was too shallow. But honestly, man, we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see if we can catch multiple different species on one flip. And just so you guys know, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I, I'm just gonna be quite honest with y'all. Saltwater fishing is not my bread and butter. But guess what, boys, we're trying. All right, smelly boys, it's your time. It is your time. We just don't need one shrimp for this. We're just gonna put little tiny bits and pieces. If we don't get bit on this, we're gonna put a bottom rig or a cork out, but this is worth a shot. I mean, I bought it earlier to test it out and it might just be, you know, not the right area to fish it, or I could be doing this totally wrong, but we're gonna at least attempt to catch something on the sabiki. There we go. We got the old sabiki with a fat old weight on there. And we're gonna see if we can just drop it down and get some bites here. All right, y'all, we, uh, we're running out of time, I feel like. We haven't done exceptional today. You know, I don't know what uh, what Fletcher's caught, but if I had to guess, Fletcher has probably hit it on the head because he's in the salt water, but it's hard to say because Noah could have gone to a bunch of these ponds in here that are brackish and I've already got a bass. Are you kidding me? I, I cannot believe that this fish just ate that because I have been fishing for bass for to be honest, the majority of the day, we're gonna use these. I, when you have a little fish like this, or not a little fish, but when you have when you have a fish with treble hooks in its mouth, they like to uh, go straight into your hands sometimes. So it's usually better to rock some pliers and you can pop that guy right out. But what I was saying is the one bait that I was not expecting to catch this on, we just made it happen right after the, uh, the Texas rig there. But that doesn't count as a new species, so we're going to throw this guy back. All right, we got to give him a little toss. We're kind of high up here. Thank you, buddy. There we go. On to the next pond, baby. Got one. Fish on. Oh, that's a better something. That's a better something. What do we got? What do we got? Something with a little tuggy tug. Oh, come on. Be a red. Be a red. Is it a red? What is it? What do we got? 
Oh, another sea trout. <laughs> it's a better one too. There we go. Now that's a keeper. If I was hungry and I like sea trout, I'd be putting that one in my cooler if I had one. <laughs> that is a respectable sea trout by all means. I'm glad we got something of some size on the board on the on the kayak it's hasn't gone all gone the waste to just catch some dinks but there's no time like the present to catch some more fish i know this is an awkward way to hold it and that's because it is uh and that's just because i don't really know how to hold these guys properly and, <laughs> and i want to drop them in the boat and get these teeth around my toe that wouldn't feel too great but uh we're gonna go ahead and get her back in the water i appreciate the nibble thanks honey <laughs> doggy i love to see it you got some bait. There you go. Some shrimp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got another species. No, Noah. you did it. <laughs> no, you did it. Oh, yeah. that's cool. What is it? I'm not sure what it is. Oh, Fletcher, look. look. There's a. What is that? Is that puffer fish? That's a puffer fish. What the? Dude, that's, oh, that's crazy. That is so cool. Is, is he puffed up? Yeah, he puffed up. That's oh fine. my gosh! God, I just got the whole. <laughs> <laughs> got the whole Dude, ear. that's crazy. Dude, that puffer fish is insane. <laughs> I can't believe that. I don't know. I got three species on that cast. Three new species. We got a squid. We got a puffer fish. A name fish. And I've then. I've never um, seen a puffer fish that small. I know, just a little, or a little squid infant. That small. I've never seen a squid in my entire life. Don't break the antenna. <laughs> There we go. There we go, boys, right here. Nothing big, but that's a fish right there, son. I don't even know what that is. There we go, boys, that's our second species right there. Listen to them. Heck yeah, there we go. We're gonna see if we can get another one. They are biting right there. That little tiny small jig head, that's what That's what we needed. I really wanted a fish today, are you but doing we the just contest? didn't have two. Yeah. We have the best fish. Yeah, we're making a YouTube video. See who can catch who can catch the most species. Yeah, I hope so. You caught a lot. No, you hear that? What? They think I'm gonna win. You probably are. All right, boys, we got the popping cork with the old live shrimp donated by Fletcher the fisherman himself. And I'm trying to catch me a big old red out here, man. We don't have too much more time. Oh, got something. No, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Look, Let's go. Oh, is he on? What do I got? What do I got? We got something down here. Ah, hey. oh. uh, he's not huge. Oh, yeah, okay. Hey, hold, on. hold on. He got a little something. Oh, oh, no! Bro. What was that? Dude, it was big. What was that? <coughs> no! Oh, I'm going against you right now, but I wanted you to land that fish. That's, what? You got me pumped up on that, dude. That was actually a big fish. It was coming in so casually. And then I saw like the end of the line. I saw where its tail kicked. It was like, it, just started to take it was off like that, that big. What the heck? He dang snapped my hook. Oh my gosh, boys. We got like 10 minutes, man. Connor even joined the party over here. After today, I'm gonna like go home and learn the cast net. Like I'm gonna be practicing it in the backyard every single day. <laughs> Just for the next show. I, I didn't, you know what's crazy? When you picked out the cast net, I didn't even think much about it. I'm like, oh, he's just casting some bait fish. And then I'm like, as we got progressed on with the day and I came down and I saw your cast net, I realized that there was a big issue with the challenge. There's a big problem. Dude, I can't believe you lost that dang fish, bro. I wanted to see it. Whatever it was, it was good. That was like the, the big fish. It had to have been a shark. That's what I think. Something with teeth. All right, we're closing down, man. I don't know how much more time we got, but it's almost there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, the dinner bell's ringing. There she blows, boys. All right, what you got, Fletch? I got I to gotta hear it. Let's see. Let me, let me do the tally. We got... I mean, I need you to, like, <laughs> make a counter for me here. We got mullet shrimp sheep's head croaker um glass minnow sea trout puffer fish catfish puffer fish uh, nine or ten nine or ten and so how many so so how there. many were on the cast net and how, how many were on the rod uh i caught two on the rod wow two on the rod all right connor what do you got man <laughs> what do you got <laughs> i mean i did horrible too man i i didn't do well 
I, I had two. Okay. Species. And I had two. I had two. Well, well. I, had, I feel a little better. I feel I feel a little better that Fletcher did whoop us, but at least he got two on the rod. I feel I feel a little bit better. I can't believe nine. That's insane. Yeah, that's crazy. Way to go, Fletcher. I don't even know there's nine Thanks, fish in the boy. river.